Hi there, I am a sales shopper and I think it is both a good thing and a bad thing. I've been able to get a lot of high quality pieces this way. However, like most Americans, I don't wear a lot in my closet. So this time, when Reformation has an end of season sale, I've decided to only consciously buy pieces that fit into my lifestyle that I truly wear instead of shopping for a fantasy self. Let me show you what I got. The first thing I got is this Tencel two-piece set. I think this tank top is a little bit long on me, but it's quite flattering as it makes me look slimmer with the vertical piping and the diagonal piping on the skirt. If I want to show a little bit of skin, I can fold the hem of the tank top a little bit. I don't wear t-shirts often. Instead, I gravitate toward long sleeve tees and tank tops. So this set is great because I can wear each of the two pieces separately or together. The fabric is not a compressive one. It is soft and comfortable, but I would recommend seamless underwear and sticky bra or nippies. Second thing I got is this mini dress that I'm a little bit on the fence about. There is no zipper. It feels super comfortable. I just pull it over my head. The silhouette is very similar to the Isabelle dress by Realisation Park, except the Isabelle has ties in the back to cinch your waist. I was eyeing the Realisation Park dress because it's 100% silk, but one thing I know about this brand is that the silk is quite thin. It shrinks a lot after washing, so it seems too big of a risk. The Reformation dress was on sale and seems a bit more low maintenance. However, I feel like it's a little bit long. Before I take it to the tailor to hem, there are two things I know about this fabric that Reformation uses often. One is it tends to shrink a lot after the first wash, even if you hang dry. So I'll see how much it shrinks first before deciding how much to hem. The other thing is this fabric tends to wrinkle, so a pattern fabric is better than a solid one. The next thing I got is a cropped linen top. Now, I really like the look of crop button down, but my pet peeve is after laundry, the hem of the shirt always rolls up. I know that I will not have this problem with this top because it has a drawstring hem that I can tie in the back. One thing I have to watch out for as a very clumsy person is that it's a white shirt and the sleeves are quite billowy. The last item I got is my favorite. It is the silk version of this cotton oversized shirt. Now, I love everything about this shirt except for the composition. The cut is perfect, the drop shoulder is perfect, the button color matches the shirt. You know when brands are lazy, they just use the same buttons for all different colors of the same shirt? Yeah, that's a huge pet peeve of mine. And that doesn't happen here. The only problem I have is a 2% spandex. I don't think it's necessary here. All I want is a 100% poplin cotton shirt. So to me, this style is nearly perfect. The silk version of this shirt did not have any synthetic in the composition, so it was no-brainer. Without tucking it in, the back of the shirt does look comically long on me, but honestly, I don't mind. I prioritize comfort and big shirt, big pants is my go-to. But of course, tucking the shirt in is an easy way to look put together. I can foresee this shirt being one of my favorite layering pieces because even though the cut is oversized, it is not bulky. And that's everything I got. Let me know which one is your favorite.